Good morning. Students, alumni, media, friends, family, faculty, and staff, members of the Tippecanoe Valley School Corporation Board of Education, and graduates. Welcome to the 2016 Burkett Education Center graduation celebration. It is with great pleasure that we meet here today to honor the accomplishments of the fine groups of students that you will see here. I would like to thank each and every one of you for your attendance here today as we celebrate this joyous occasion. Today we have gathered to celebrate. Celebrate the success of the students that you're about to see here today in graduating from high school. The students have had to work very hard to get where they are today. They've had to overcome many personal obstacles and challenges to make the passage from youth to adulthood possible. Whether the students were in tough situations because of their own doing or because of circumstances outside of their control doesn't really matter. When it came to earning a diploma, these students buckled down and focused on the moment of significance, a moment that will have a great effect on the rest of their lives. Before we begin to honor the students individually, I ask that Mr. Petri please come forward. Mr. Petri is the JAG teacher from Work One. Thank you, Mr. Lukens. Uh, thank you, um, Tippecanoe Valley School Administration for allowing the JAG program to be a part of the Burkitt's um, program again this year. I know that we uh, worked very hard over the last uh, three years um, to, to make this a successful program with our students, and it was a reward. It's a great testimony that our students have the freedom and ability to uh, aspire to these dreams and goals that they have, and uh, they have achieved it. They have actually overcome their barriers to make this graduation possible. Um, part of today um, is going to be rewarding them, um, and part of the JAG program um, is part of that. We incentivize their participation so that they can aspire to more and they can use some of the resources um, that the state of Indiana has given them for being in, um, a student in their uh, desired predicament as well as um, to graduate and to, to achieve these successes. So um, with congratulation um, to these students, one of the things that they have done throughout the year is um, participate in over 60 hours of service with me um, in general respect for programming that we had in the service. So students were able to, um, at the beginning part of the year, interview with me, work with me through some of their career goals and objectives. We were able to do interviewing workshops, to build resumes, to work on computer software and programs, to apply for jobs, to do a lot of career exploration and individual counseling and assistance. Um, mostly that support that we provided them has led a lot of them to be college ready. Um, and in that, um, we've had uh, three very important successes. Um, one of them was the college um, application process. I think this year we did more students applying to various schools across the state than we've had in any other year. Um, so that was a great success. Um, another one was the amount of scholarship uh, applications and grant applications that students were able to achieve. Um, these students were able to apply for the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid grant in addition to three of our students being eligible for the Mitch Daniels um, early graduation award. We have three junior students who have graduated one year early to their deadline and have um, two have completed the application. We're waiting on one more and um, they have uh, the ability of applying for this scholarship so they could be eligible for another incentive. And um, we have 21st century scholars as well. Um, these students have participated in a scholarship program through the state of Indiana since eighth grade and have become eligible um, through that by maintaining their grade point average, um, continuing their academics, and not letting themselves uh, succumb to their barriers, not letting themselves uh, leave school and not finish that goal. So um, with this uh, award comes um, the incentive from Work One. Work One has uh, uh, provided our JAG participants an additional monetary incentive for graduation. Um, in addition to their participation throughout the year and 
in the next couple of months, if they achieve full-time employment, they are fully enrolled into college, or if they join military service, they receive another incentive. So we are making sure that students, not only now, um, but in the following year, understand that you guys are eligible for these things too. You have them at your fingertips. You could get so much into your future, and we're here to invest in you. We're here to show you that you matter and that you are someone we care about, and we want to see your future succeed. So in that, um, I want to give out the awards. Um, so I'm going to call up our JAG participants for the year. And they're not in any random order, but just as I can see, I'm here on the recognition certificates. So um, would Eris Long please come forward? Thank you very much, Eris, for your participation. Uh, stand up, if you want to stand on the side, thank you. Uh, Macy Jayberg. Paige Conley. And Christopher Bauer. Tommy Van Meter. Here you go, man. Oh, Tommy. Here you go, buddy. Toriana Rogers. Is she present? No? <laughs> Bree McCain. Mary Marcellet. Um, so these are our JAG participants in the senior class that have graduated this year. Um, we have given them um, the opportunity um, to not only use their future um, uh, with you know, the opportunity that they have, you know, a successful high school graduation. But we're incentivizing and making sure that they understand that it is worth it to pursue trades, it's worth it to pursue jobs, it's worth it to pursue education. And um, in our county and in our area, we work really hard in our schools to work toward getting our students the most opportunities possible. It's the reason we have the lowest unemployment in the state of Indiana. It's the reason why um, our county continues to succeed in certain statistics in some of these areas. Our region does very well. We tend to, we, we tend to be one of the most um, innovative areas in, in the state. And um, it's a testimony. We have a lot of opportunities here and our students have it at their fingertips. So let's congratulate them and thank you for your time and your services here, guys. And thanks again, Mr. Lukens. Stay there. <laughs> oh, the students. <laughs> Just wait here a second. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Petri. Before Mr. F Petri's completely finished, I wanted to make a statement of congratulations. Mr. Petri has recently been hired as the Regional Youth Business Services Representative for Work One, working with JAG programs in Fulton, Kosciuszko, Elkhart, Marshall, and St. Joseph counties. This concludes a two and a half year span at Burkett in which Mr. Petri did many amazing things to help students not only graduate, but also succeed in the workforce. Although he will no longer be teaching our JAG program directly here at Burkett, he will continue to have a large impact on the hiring of the next teacher and also the functionality of our program for years to come. Thank you, Mr. Petri.
Thank you. <clears throat> At this time, I ask Mrs. Wilkes to come forward. Mrs. Wilkes is our building director here at Burkett Education Center, and also she's the special needs director for the entire school corporation, and she will have a special presentation at this moment. Good morning. I was wondering if I'd be able to see over the podium, and I think I can, so that's great. I'm not as tall as everyone else. Um, at this time, uh, we would like to take a moment to recognize really the efforts of Matt Cavender, um, he has been our building custodian at Burkett since the fall of 2010, um, and I've had the pleasure of working with him for the past four years here at Burkett. Um, during his time at Burkett, he is in charge of maintenance, the grounds, and then the cleaning for the entire facility here, as well as splitting his time with uh, maintenance for the entire school corporation. So he's been a very busy man. Um, he's also spent many late nights in a plow truck where he's cleaned lots of parking lots to make sure that we can attend school the next day. Uh, Mr. Cavender has been described by others as taking pride and care in the appearance of Burke Educational Center and also he's consistently displaying a can-do attitude. Um, he just was recently awarded the TVSC Pillar Award for Outstanding Support Staff as well. Um, he's gone above and beyond the call of duty on several different projects within the corporation. Um, he has seen to it that all the pictures of graduates were displayed um, as a group each year, and those are in our cafeteria and down the halls in Burke Educational Center. He designed the military wall of fame, including the flags there, and then he's taken care in creating and preserving the memorial trees that are out on our lawn, the south lawn. Uh, last summer, he varnished the gym floor here. Takes a lot of pride in the gym here. Um, also been a key part of the energy saving um, project that will save the corporation thousands of dollars in the years to come. Um, he even led the corporation-wide initiative to sponsor the Wounder, wo Wounded Warrior Project for our veterans. Um, not, but not, furthermore, you know, Mr. Cavender has been a source of positivity for our students. He uh, displays true care for our students by taking time to get to know them and build relationships with them. Um, he would play games with them during break, uh, get pop for helping for them helping around the school, and even giving advice when asked. Uh, his influence has been very positive and will be missed by our students. Uh, prior to the end of the school year, Mr. Cavender began working on going back to school. He knew that in order to move up the ladder concerning employment, education was the vehicle to do so. Therefore, he enrolled in Ivy Tech in Warsaw, where he's been taking courses in computer technology um, and is working towards his associate's degree in applied science information technology support. Um, although it's not an easy balance of full-time work, uh, family with a very active son and daughter and college, he's made a commitment to learn some new skills. At the end of the year, or at the end of April this year, Mr. Cavender, our custodian for the past six years, was hired as the new computer technician at the middle school. Um, we're very proud of him. Um, the process of going back to school and seeking new employment a path has been a source of inspiration to our students and also just a great model to our students. Although we're sad to lose him at Burkett, um, we are thankful to have had him here for the past six years, and even more glad that he's gonna remain in our school corporation and uh, system to help others in the future. So Mr. Cavender, you wanna come up? Um, I just wanna thank you, Mr. Cavender, for your work, and the best of luck to you in the future. And I will turn it back over to Mr. Mickens. Thank you. At this time, I take great pleasure in introducing Mr. John Hutton. Mr. Hutton serves as the assistant principal at Tippecanoe New Valley High School and as the program director here at the Alternative Program at Burkett. He has a huge influence over our students and oversees and helps set the direction of the entire program. He is a kind-hearted, caring man who has much creativity 
and an attitude that makes school and learning fun for students and staff alike. His countless hours on the job, constantly being on call, are very much appreciated. His presence is strong, and the students have a deep respect for him. At this time, Mr. Hutton. <clears throat> Mr. Lukens always makes you feel really good when you come up here, no matter what. He does a great job. So I just want to say how lucky I am to be involved with Burkett. Um, I get to know students through my job at the high school and as kids transition over here for a number of reasons. I'm very blessed to continue to work with them. Um, kids come over here and they have an experience that's different than the traditional high school experience. But they still are good kids. They're still strong kids. They're still kids that are pursuing their, their career. And we're excited about them. You know, this year we've had our, our, our students go out and do a Feed the Hungry Day with, students, uh, with other students from other schools supporting. We've had them go to several college and career fairs. We have our students that represent us very well, and we're pleased as a whole with our Burkett family. We meet every Monday morning and go over and talk to kids that need help. We celebrate our superstars. We talk about what the next step is. We plan for and try to create curriculum that is successful for them, and we listen to their feedback. This is a family, and like a family, some days we have good days and some days we have bad days. But overall, we're very proud and very pleased. We're sad to see you guys go on. We're excited to see you guys go on. And I guess when I thought about kind of the next thing, I, I thought about, uh, quote, life is one step ahead of you. The key is just to keep making steps. I know it's hard sometimes. I know sometimes things look overwhelming. Uh, how am I going to pay for college? How am I going to get to college? How am I going to solve all those problems? But if you just take one step at a time, you'll get there. You've shown that you can accomplish it. You've gone from the high school to this, situa this situation. Many of you have been, had just outstanding experiences here and done very well. We're very proud of you. We want to wish you the best of luck. We look to see you come back and tell us how great life is. I'll see you at Walmart or the gas station, wherever I get to run into you. And good luck with your future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hutton. The students that you are about to meet attended Burkett Education Center for a variety of reasons. Some of these include being behind in credit, needing more hours to work and support themselves, having difficulty understanding the traditional classroom learning styles, being pregnant or having a dependent, needing specific tutoring in a difficult subject, not liking the drama of a large school, having had multiple discipline problems, or having had health problems, to name a few. But, these, but because of these issues, many of our students either struggled to succeed at Tippecanoe Valley High School or had issues that prevented them from continuing to attend school there. Although our high school is a wonderful facility with caring and faculty and staff, it is simply not possible to meet the needs of such a wide range of variety of issues. For these reasons, 13 years ago, the administration and Board of Education identified that these students need not be left behind and that they established an alternative school here at Burkett. Using a different approach to education, many of the students who had fallen behind are now able to achieve and excel in this environment. To date, we have played a strong hand in helping 282 students graduate from Burkett Education Center or returning to the high school and graduating who otherwise might not have been able to throughout the 13 year history of our program. The class of 2016 from Burkett Education Center is one of high achievement and distinction. This school year we graduate 18 students. This group is one that I will say holds a lot of promise for the future and success down the road. They were one of the best behaved, hardest working, most hungry to learn groups that I've ever had the pleasure to teach. Statistically speaking, representatives of this group, there were eight bus riders. One had a sibling who had previously graduated from Burkett as a legacy. Two were the first in their immediate family to graduate from Burkett. Eleven of our graduates were Core 40 graduates. Two were parents. Six had been arrested at different times or been put on probation. Sixteen out of eighteen held jobs. Two had severe health trouble that they had to overcome. Three were self-supporting or living on their own. These students collectively completed 277 APEX courses, 1,475 units, and 221,387 minutes of on-task work on the APEX learning system. 
At this time, I ask that each graduate come forward as I read their name, and I will uh, briefly describe their great accomplishments. Christopher Jacques, also known as C.J. Bauer. I had the absolute pleasure of having C.J. in class for the first half of the school year. He was a student that had a very hectic life outside of school and was determined to finish school early and forge a life of his own. C.J. had worked hard the summer before his senior year where he earned credits during summer school that allowed him this chance to graduate early. While at Burkett, C.J. was an absolute top-notch student. He was extremely reliable and boasted of having a 99.19 attendance percentage for the year. C.J. was extremely polite, hardworking, and well-behaved. He had only had one discipline infraction his entire school career here at Burkett. As a highly motivated student, C.J. was able to accomplish a high attendance rate and have a great attitude while earning his Core 40 diploma, despite all the external factors that were working against him, making life more difficult. While still attending school, C.J. was working long hours at Penguin Point in Warsaw and would often work late into the night. He needed extra hours to help pay the bills at home. Eventually, he moved into a supervisory position at the restaurant, a testament to his work ethics and reliability. Due to some bad circumstances with family, CJ was had to support himself for a while, not only financially, but sometimes emotionally as well. His mother, who he's very close to, was unable to help CJ through some difficult times, and that made everything else more difficult. Instead of hanging his head and dwelling on the negative stuff in life, CJ did extremely well and now stands before you as a Core 40 graduate. Now that he has finished high school, CJ sees himself moving up the ladder wherever he ends up working. Currently, he is at Penguin Point, where he is a respected and trusted employee. As a member of JAG, he is contemplating getting his CNC operator's license, but has not finalized any plans yet. With his never give up attitude, great personality, and exceptional dedication, I think CJ will do very well in life. C.J. Jock Bauer. <laughs> Paige Alice Conley. Paige entered the halls of Burkett early in December of this year, in this her senior year of school. She had been in trouble with attendance in the high school and missed enough days that she was not going to be able to earn credits for the first semester. In fact, she had missed over 25 days of school, which left her behind on the work that she needed for graduation. Paige had told me upon her interview when she came to Burkett that she was heavily considering dropping out of school. She felt like she was constantly being picked on and harassed and was starting to think about quitting as her only way out. Instead of running out of options, Paige was given the opportunity to go to Burkett for a fresh start. Here she was able to work at her own pace and she thrived. In a smaller environment, Paige was quick to make friends and feel much more at home. She used her prior knowledge in classes that she did not earn credit for to complete the same classes online and move ahead. Without any social stresses that she felt at the high school, Paige was greatly able to improve her attendance and became a reliable student daily. Paige is a very kind-hearted person and would often go out of her way to help other students. <clears throat> she would ask for time to help those struggling in classes, and I would have to remind her to take time for herself also. Outside of school, Paige has many interests, including painting, drawing, singing, and playing badminton. She likes to help family, and as an example, helped make over 400 cookies during Christmas break. She's an avid fan of the Chicago Bears, which led, me, led us to be very good companionship. Just um, some interesting personality likes of Paige includes that she likes Pepsi, she hates beets, and she liked algebra instead of geometry, which is very rare in today's world. As a badge of honor, Paige is, in her, is the first in her family to earn her high school diploma. Now that she has finished school, Paige is going to start working at Culver Tool as an inspector in the medical manufacturing industry. She plans on enrolling in college in the near future and sees herself being 
able to earn her CNA license and then eventually becoming an RN. With her positive attitude, great personality, caring heart, Paige will be a nurse who can truly make the difference for those who really need it most. Paige Alice Conley. Jessica Lee Dembski. <laughs> Jessie entered Burkett for the second semester this year due to some health trouble. She was suffering from migraines that kept her from attending school regularly at the high school. Due to frequently missing school, she felt like she was constantly being fallen behind in class. This added stress, <coughs> excuse me, this added stress she felt from school, unfortunately added pressure of its own that further perpetuated her illness and health trouble. Although she was apprehensive about coming to Burkett at first because she thought it was only for troubled students, she needed a change and eventually decided to give Burkett a chance. As a very intelligent student who has always been outstanding academically, Jessie soon found that she was able to progress at a fast clip through all of her required work. She appreciated how it felt not to fall behind on her work for the first time in a while. She also liked how the classes were self-paced, which allowed her to use her intelligence to move ahead on her work, and, there, and also kept her from falling behind on days she had to miss. Within the school, Jessie found that she liked it much more than she had previously envisioned, and that the students were friendly and cooperative. In this environment, Jessie progressed through her classes, very quickly, a testament not only to her intelligence, but also to her motivation and work ethics. She was extremely well-behaved, hardworking, and amassed hundreds of minutes beyond her starting point due to her outstanding work on our discipline ticket sheets. While not studying and making gains on her Apex classes, Jessie enjoys several hobbies and interests. She is a member of 4-H and enjoys photography, archery, and raising goats. Jessie is an avid reader who also is active in her church youth group. Now that she has finished school, Jessie has some great future plans. She plans on attending Johnson University next year as an online student where she will study ministry. Her aspirations include earning a degree in children's ministry and working at a church. With her great attitude of service, intelligence, and commitment, she will undoubtedly be a great servant of the Lord throughout her life. Jessie Lee Dembski. Cody Lee Denton. <laughs> Shelby K. Dugan. Kyle William Hammond. Macy Nicole Jayberg. Macy entered school back in early November of 2014 due to getting into some trouble at the high school. She was caught making a bad decision and was removed from the high school. Rather than losing a whole year of schooling, Macy was given the option to attend Burkett on a Form 16. Once at Burkett, Macy proved herself very capable and an intelligent learner. With a history of excellent grades already, Macy further credentialed herself by working hard and staying focused. She was one of our top students each and every week and had a very good behavior. Her outstanding qualities, with her outstanding qualities, soon she found herself voted as member of our student advisory council. She held a positive influence over the school and was a great example for other students. Her hard work allowed her to move ahead on her courses and she was in a great position to succeed. She described her situation as a couple of bad decisions that turned into an incredible opportunity. Over the last summer, Macy began to have some difficulty with life. <clears throat> she had changed her living arrangements and was much further from Burkett. 
making travel much more difficult. She and her longtime boyfriend had broken up. In the, she was somewhat in the middle of a custody battle and family trouble. To make things even harder for Macy, she was devastated with the passing of Mr. Bibbler back in October, or excuse me, September. Macy had struggled through all this throughout the first part of the year, making it very difficult on her. She had lots of times when she was down and was not nearly as productive as she normally would be. And it, she, she, to quote Macy, she said, things were really testing her at times. However, Macy did not lose her positive overall attitude and her ability to learn. Instead, she became even more determined to graduate and to be with us here today on this stage. Of her experience, Macy said that she appreciated how we have conflict at times. We are really just one big family who really cares about each other and helped her to feel comfortable at school, making it possible for her to continue. Macy is very active outside of school also. She enjoys all the things that have to do with water, swimming, maintaining aquariums, and marine life. During this school year, she was able to visit the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago where she fell in love with that line of work. Macy's very artistic and loves listening to music. She also loves to care for animals and has a big heart for them also. Currently, Macy works at Wendy's in Rochester and is considering switching to a new Tony's restaurant once it opens this summer. <clears throat> Macy also has been an accomplished member of the Peru Circus since she was age six, where she was in many acts, including aerial acts and elephant riding. Now that she has finished school, Macy has some very big plans. She is going to attend either IU in Kokomo or South Bend this fall to take general studies courses. She has already visited the University of UNC Wilmington and plans on graduating from there with her bachelor's degree in marine biology. Each time I've asked her this year where she sees herself in the future or 10 years from now, Macy has a pretty standard response. She sees herself riding dolphins. <laughs> with her great intelligence, abilities, and personality, I can see her doing whatever she sets her mind on. Macy, Macy Nicole Jayberg. Eris Drew Long. <laughs> Burkett had the pleasure of er having Eris join us for this school year as she continued her path towards graduation. She had struggled in the previous year with attendance due to some health trouble, and she had suffered with anxiety and thought a new environment would help reduce stress. As a student who had a high level of motivation, Eris was an instant success at Burkett. She was dependable on attendance, diligent on her schoolwork, and spread good cheer throughout the school environment. She has always been a very respectful and well-behaved student and has never had a single discipline write-up in her four years of high school. Her work ethics and positive attitude were helpful for her to earn her Core 40 diploma, and she was able to finish all requirements during the first semester this year. In fact, very early on. After graduation, Eris has taken on many jobs. She has worked two jobs for a while, including receptionist at Dr. Harris Eye Scent Office in Akron, and also as an animal shelter volunteer. Currently, she is working in the maintenance position at Pike Lumber Company in Akron. Eris has many other interests and hobbies outside of school and work. Eris enjoys lawn boarding and is active in her church. She has a big heart for animals and often helps care for them. She also noted that one of her favorite hobbies is sleeping. Last summer, she, Eris was good enough to go on a missions trip to Guatemala to serve the Lord and help people in need. Her plans for the future include possibly being a missionary or even an overseas nanny as she loves to travel. With her great attitude, big caring heart, she will be a great asset for whatever part of the world is lucky enough to have her there, Eris Drew Long. <laughs> Mary Anna Marcellet. In 
It is my honor to talk about a young lady that I can say has displayed a great amount of courage, determination, and perseverance in order to stand before you here today. She has truly been through a lot, but never gave up hope or her work ethics. Mary came to Burkett this year as a junior who strongly considered quitting school. She had to work to help support her family due to some economic conditions. She had a history of poor attendance, struggled with health trouble, and had many family troubles. Mary was forced to live in several homes, was faced with much responsibility, and for a while she even felt hopeless. I can remember talking with her one day and her breaking down in tears. Her struggles were getting the best of her, and it was more than she could handle on her own. With the help of the guidance department, her close friends, and Officer Gearhart, she was able to make it through some very difficult times. Her goal in coming to Burkett was simple, to work as hard as she possibly could in order to start a new life of her own. While here, Mary was a very strong student. She worked extremely hard and made it through classes very quickly. She always kept a positive attitude and her presence improved the very atmosphere of our school climate. Mary was the kind of student with a caring heart and always treated others with the utmost respect. She showed quickly that she was not only highly motivated in the classroom, but also gifted in a great deal of intelligence. This combined to enable Mary to earn an outstanding 18 credits this year on her way towards early graduation. Upon finishing school, Mary had been working in Subway in helping to pay the bills at home. She is now happy to say that she is getting along with family and that she has had, that she had difficulty before with. Currently, Mary has a happy outlook on life. Mary has great plans for the future as well. She has already been accepted to Ivy Tech for next year to begin her path towards becoming a nurse. With her many great qualities, such as dependability, endurance, intelligence, and caring personality, I can see her helping make a huge difference for people down the road. Mary Anna Marcellet. Bree Yvonne McCain. <laughs> Words cannot describe how difficult Bree's journey to this point has been and just how great her attitude, work ethic, and behavior has been to match it. Bree came to Burke at halfway through her junior year. Her health had been going poorly and she was getting further behind. She was suffering through a long list of health trouble, fibromyalgia, migraine syndrome, and hip pain, to name the most. Having so many problems made it difficult for Bree to attend school. And when she was in school, the pain associated with it from all these conditions made learning nearly impossible, and concentration and sitting at school very difficult. Bree, of course, was apprehensive about leaving the high school and her friends behind at first, but she did it in hopes of graduating on time. Once here, it did not take long for her to establish herself as a very hard worker and also as an intelligent student. She began making progress in spurts. When she felt well and was able to attend, she gained significantly. Her dedication to working at odd times, mixed with the flexibility of our online learning, was a great fit for Bree. She proved that she could work hard and move ahead through her work at home as well, and she'd spend many nights up working on it. Bree truly had to work extremely hard and have a toughness about her that was unmatched. There were times when she was struggling, when her family was worried she might not be able to graduate on time, but she remained focused, diligent, and relentless towards her goal. In her final couple of months, she struggled through the daunting task of finishing her Algebra II courses, but as intelligent as Bree is, she was able to master the materials. She rose to the challenge and was able to graduate with her Core 40 diploma here today. Outside of school, Bree has many interests and is a fun student to have in school with her big personality. She enjoys reading, playing video games, spending time with friends and family. She especially likes to give her younger brother Colton a hard time. When Bree, en Bree also enjoys Mountain Dew, history courses, and despite finishing Algebra II, math is still her least favorite subject. Bree is currently employed at Dairy Queen in Rochester where she works limited hours. 
Now that she has finished school, Bree plans on going on to college next year. She is going to Ivy Tech where she will pursue a degree to become a phlebotomist, also known as a person who draws blood at the hospitals. Her experience around the medical profession has been influential to her and her wishes to help make a difference for other people by entering the medical field. I will always remember how Bree helped make Burkett a fun place to be with her great personality, constant smiling, and neon colors. I look forward to Bree having much success down the road of life and am very grateful to have give, been given the opportunity to work with Bree on her path towards graduation. Bree Yvonne McCain. Rico Montalongo. Jamie Lynn Phillips. When students graduate, each uh, time a student graduates, they're given a senior questionnaire to fill out. And one of those questions that is asked is, would you be willing to speak at the graduation celebration? And um, usually about 1% of students say yes. I think we've had three or four throughout the history of our program. So um, Jamie was one of those students. So at this time, I'll let Jamie say a few words at this time. Hello, my name is Jamie Phillips, and I'm here to say how I became a graduate from Burkett Educational Center. I became a graduate through hard work and dedication of my academics and trying to get it done as fast as I could. I had, I had, uh, I originally came here because of lack of credits that I need to get to the high school. But due to my impulsiveness I had, I could not have made it. So thank you to, thanks to Micah and Ms. Uh, Woodward over here, I was able to finish early and get my four four credits back in February. And with Mrs. Johnson helping me out with my mathematics, I am hopefully hoping I can get my diploma and be done. Thank you. Jamie moved to our school district from Van Wert, Ohio back in late November of his, this his senior year. He was having some family trouble while living with his mother, and his living conditions had gotten to the point where he needed a change, and he found help from his aunt, Karen Wallace. She helped Jamie have a home and the essentials and gave him the support he needed to finish school. Jamie entered school as a senior wanting to finish enough credits to return to Tippecanoe Valley, as he talked about, for this final semester. He had to earn five credits in just over a month in order to return. This was just too much for such a short period of time. Jamie did make very strong gains on his work, however, but due to some situations, we had to stay here at Burkett. Um, while here, Jamie did very well academically. I think Mrs. Johnson helped provide some extra motivation for Jamie when she told him that he could not finish by spring break because the next thing you know, he was getting finished up. So you see, Jamie's not a student who does, doesn't take a challenge well. He always rises to the occasion. Next thing you know, after being challenged, Jamie sprang into action, worked incredibly hard, and finished his final few credits. Jamie had some disciplinary consequences due to some bad decisions. When he thought it would be a good idea to get on my computer and try to set it up so that I could not control his monitor anymore during cl class time, it proved to be a mistake. Jamie is <clears throat> currently already a certified computer technician and has a great amount of knowledge in dealing with electronics. Sometimes it's landed him in trouble, but it's also served him well. He would earn many extra minutes for helping troubleshoot computer problems within the school. Jamie is known as a very intelligent student and is also extremely creative. He was a very good artist, and I have mentioned he's very knowledgeable with computers. Jamie, outside of school, has many interests as well. He enjoys fishing, working out, cycling, walking, spending time with friends and family. Going forward, Jamie has several options that he's considering, all of which are very, very good. He's considering joining the military, also considering pursuing a career with computers, 
And thirdly, he's even considering joining the uh, education field as being a history teacher. His goal is to plan, and plan is to move back to Van Wert after graduation to be re reunited with friends and family. With his intelligence, skill, and bullheaded, never give up attitude, Jamie should be a real success in the years to come. Jamie Lynn Phillips. Toriana Michelle Rogers. <laughs> Tori has attended Burkett since the middle of her junior year of school. She moved to the Valley District from South Bend Clay and she attended a semester at the high school. Although she had made some gains, she was still far behind from where she was at Clay and she came to Burkett to get caught up rather than dropping out of school due to frustration. Tori had a history of poor attendance and has struggled at school throughout her earlier schooling years. She gave Burkett a chance prior to quitting because of her, largely because of her brother Gage had also been successful here. Once here, Tori proved that she could do extremely well. During her first semester, she earned eight credits that gave her the encouragement that she needed to return this year. During this school year, Tori was very motivated and worked extremely hard. Not only did she finish all of her credits, <clears throat> 17 in all, she finished all of her work needed for her core 40 diploma. After graduating, Tori continued to study for her mathematics exam, which we can proudly say she passed here in May. While at school, Tori was a quiet student, yet extremely motivated. She was known as being fairly bullheaded, and that usually worked to her advantage, actually. She had a close group of friends. She, had a, she often credits her grandmother and mother for their help along the way and keeping her encouraged and always helping out. Tori is active outside of school as well. She is an avid swimmer, likes to play many sports, such as football, basketball, soccer, and kickball. She was an excellent part of our gym class a year ago with these. Currently, Tori has a job in Subway in her hometown of Akron, where she worked to save money for college. A congratulations is in order for Tori as well, as she is now engaged to her longtime boyfriend, who I believe is with us here today. Um, Tori plans on pursuing a degree in nursing. She is already accepted at Ivy Tech, where she would like to specialize in OBGYN. With her never give up attitude, strength of will, she can succeed at anything she puts her mind to. Toriana Michelle Rogers. <laughs> Blake William Tipton. Dale Thomas Van Meter III. <laughs> Tommy, as he's affectionately known, entered Burkett a quarter of the way through his sophomore year of school. He had been to Burkett previously for ISS, also called ISS as in-school suspension, and was placed at Burkett due to a combination of being both behind on credits and having several discipline infractions. Tommy described himself as being easily distracted and frequently in trouble at school. He needed a change and that is what he found here at Burkett. <clears throat> Within these halls, Tommy had, to work, had his work cut out for him. <clears throat> he entered Burkett with only six credits to his name and was severely in danger of falling so far behind that he would be considered high risk for dropping out. Though he had many moments of difficulty at first, he was a very hard worker the entire year and it ended up with 21 credits at the end of his sophomore year. Furthermore, he had established himself as having a positive outlook on school and was emerging as a positive force rather than a negative leader within the classroom. The opening day this year was definitely not a sign of things to come. <clears throat> Tommy was caught with tobacco and he learned a very stern lesson. 
He credits his parents and grandparents for their corrective measures to help straighten him out. From that point on, Tommy was nothing less than brilliant. No student this year, nor in any past year, has worked with the combination of positive attitude, dedication, and commitment towards doing his best as what Tommy has. He was a leader of the school, helping to set rules, get students on track, encourage others, and was an outspoken member about being positive about school and the opportunities that Burkett presents. On the school website, which is included on the brochure, you can see videos featuring Tommy where he talks about school. Tommy was the gold standard on how much work you can accomplish weekly. During his time this year, he set records with 13 consecutive weeks with five or more units accomplished. He said coming into the school year, he was going to get five units every week, and that's exactly what he did. He was the top earner, top unit earner seven times during his times here. He had a total of 160 units earned for the year, which is top in the school as well. His grade point average when he arrived was a 1.75, and it went all the way up to a 5.97. Tommy's focus and striving for excellence led him to work a total of 26,078 minutes on the APEX program, both at school and at home, a school record and a truly outstanding number. Tommy had set the goal of graduating early and earning his general, general diploma. Instead, he graduated early and earned his Core 40 diploma. While in school, Tommy was a dedicated member of JAG, where he was able to be a top-notch student as well. Outside of school, Tommy has many interests. He loves spending time with family and friends, hunting, fishing, and working. Now that he has graduated, he has been working very long hours and endless days at a hog farm where he is a certified animal technician. On his days off, He's been known to come back to school to help encourage others or to tutor students who are struggling like he was early on. Tommy was so kind and so caring about the program and students here at school that he bought the entire class Bourbon Street Pizza one day in honor of his graduation and his first paycheck. Tommy's plans for the future are many and he is not 100% sure which path he will take, although I think he's pretty set. He has already been accepted at University of Northwestern Ohio where he may study business. He is also considering continuing to work and go to Ivy Tech and pursue his business degree. He has interest in the military, but really thinks at this point he's going to pursue continuing to work for a while and going to Ivy Tech. Whatever path Tommy decides to pursue, Tommy will put his entire heart and soul into it and make it successful. Dale Thomas Van Meter III. Jeremiah Allen Daniel Byers. Zachary Lee Webb. Zach was a student at Burkett during his freshman year and senior years of school. He came during his freshman year because of getting in trouble at the high school. He had struggled to control his temper and had been in trouble with the law. While here, he continued to have difficulties but showed a lot of academic potential. As a very bright student, intellectually, Zach was able to progress on his class as well. He was able to finish the year without being expelled, although he was on the verge, and returned to the high school for his sophomore and junior years. Zach, we had the fortune to have Zach return to us this year at Burkett for this his senior year. He had the goal of working while at school. He was working at Jiffy Lube and attending half time while still, yet he was still able to graduate early. Zach had said that if he had remained at the high school, he thinks he would have quit school. During this year, Zach showed that he had grown up a ton. He was much more mature, level-headed, and focused on his work. Although he still had a bad temper at times, usually centered around a pool game, he was able to control it for the most part by going to ISS rather than getting into a fight or trouble. 
His efforts on his behavior helped him to stay engaged in his work. And with his bright mind, he soon found that he was earning the credits needed to graduate. Truly, he had become a very nice and pleasant student to be around, a skill that will help him a great deal now that he has graduated. Zach has came back to visit a couple times after graduation because he had missed his friends in the Burkett family. Zach's path to graduation was difficult. Although he had greatly improved at school, he was still struggling at home and with relationships. He was struggling to follow some rules his mother had and eventually found himself removed from the house due to some things escalating. He was working many hours and had to balance his work with moving from house to house. For a while, he found himself living out in the cold and things weren't going well. Currently, his situation is going much better. He is working for a farm where he landscapes and is living with family again. Zach has truly found his way. His hobbies include playing sports, working on cars, and spending time with friends. Zach's often told me he could beat me in one-on-one, -on -one, something that I'm still curious to see for the years out in basketball. Zach is a student that has so much potential for the future. Now that he has finished, Zach would like to continue working and build enough money to stay on his own. He is unsure of what he would like to do long term, but with his ability, you can be assured he will be very successful in the future. Zachary Lee Webb. The faculty and staff, along with the student body and graduating class of 2016, would like to thank each and every one of you for your attendance here this morning. All of us had to pull together to make this dream a reality for the new graduates. These graduates are now part of a collection of graduates at Burkett Education Center featuring 282 graduates. Their pictures hang on the east wall of the cafeteria inside the school building, which you will all be invited to come see before you leave here today. I would like to give a special thank you today to our foods class and leader, Mrs. Beth Landis, for preparing the food that you see here today. Also for the ladies and uh, men and Mr. Butch Troke, Pastor Butch Troke uh, of the church group, including leader, Mrs. Linda Tucker, Mrs. Vicki Harold, Mrs. Feldman, Mrs. Leininger, um, <coughs> Mrs. Hendricks, and of course, my mother, Mrs. Lukens. Um, Mrs. Tucker headed this group this year, and, and it's really appreciated what the community has always stood behind our program and what they can see the success that we've had, the students that go on to be very successful down the road. You make a big difference for these students. Thank you. Together as a group, collectively, we can work to educate both formally and informally the next generation of American citizens. Whether it's our neighbors, friends, students, sons or daughters, nieces or nephews, grandchildren, may we continue to have our young adults graduate and progress for the future. In conclusion, just a couple of announcements. I have senior breakfast tickets for those students whose family would like them. You're allowed to have three each. Also on the tables are um, informational packets papers that talk about one is a man who made a big difference at Burkett who was very committed to our Burkett program Mr. Scott Bibbler my good friend he died tragically in a plane accident last fall and um, they are asking all the senior class high school and Burkett alike if they would give money for that scholarship fund for the future so that is on the table if you're interested also, there is a packet that tells important times and dates for the high school graduation and senior breakfast and rehearsal on the table for those of you in need. I would, to conclude, I'd like to thank Ms. Shambaugh and uh, Ms. Kimball and Ms. Woodward, especially for their hard work in decorating the gym, and uh, Mr. Fincher and Mrs. Woodward for their outstanding efforts in the classroom, working in the trenches one-on-one -on -one with the students throughout each day. Thank you all for your attendance today. As we conclude, we will take pictures of the seniors over here on the seating. Um, if there's any media who would like to get pictures of the group, now would be the time to do that. Then we will begin refreshments 
um, well, help yourself to the refreshments after pictures. Thank you very much. One last round of applause for our graduates. Well, Scott Sager here with RTC TV Forum, here with Michael Lukens. Uh, what you've just seen is the graduation over here at Burkett. Wonderful program. The stories you told us, Micah, just broke my heart, and these kids achieved. Yeah, they, they, this was an amazing group. Uh, um, just um, inspiring to me as a teacher, and um, the people don't realize how hard they actually work to get the, to make this happen. And, and, and when they enter school, a lot of times they aren't thinking about necessarily what they have to do academically that day, but um, just outstanding. Well, I think the thing that, that really held true for me, Mike, it was each of these kid kids had obstacles, many of which were outside of their controls. Yep. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's just moving to me, quite frankly. It yeah. really is. I have covered... 10 years worth of graduations from various high schools around the state of Indiana. I was moved more by the stories I heard here today. These kids were kids that could have been thrown away. And, and I mean, so much so that there's a term out there, throwaway kids. Yeah. And you guys over here in Burkett, Tippecanoe Valley School System, you just said, no, we're not going to let that happen. So congratulations yeah. to you and to all your students, my Thank friend. You. Have us back next year, okay? We will. Thanks. Thank you.